Hello everyone, I'm Silent Death, and welcome to Kerbal Space Program, Science Harder Campaign. I've gotten a little bit of science between episodes. I did another SR-71 mission to the poles and picked up the science from there. Contract. Got science from space around Minimus too. Uh, visual surveys, visual surveys, and then a surface sample I think is in there somewhere. But a little bit of money, we are now just over 2 million. And we've picked up some more base contracts, a couple of them, solar orbit, and one on the surface of the moon. We're still waiting for our other contract that we did last time to finish. We also have a one in orbit of Kerbin, but that'll be accomplished when we do the other ones. First off, we're going to spend some science. In order to help us getting bases up into orbit and things, we're going to go ahead and research some 2.5 meter parts, starting with the skipper. And actually starting and ending with the skipper. Just having these larger fuel tanks and larger engines will help. Because we really don't have anything uh, to connect that stuff to. And we desperately need that kind of stuff. I would really like that, but we can't afford it. Procedural liquid tank. So here's a procedural launch pad tank. I have no idea what it means by that. It's a launch pad tank. Who knows? But I think that is all we're going to research right now. Let's go launch something. This is the craft we will be using to complete our contracts. A base in orbit of carbon on the surface of the moon and in solar orbit. The contract for the solar orbit requires 16 carbons, so we have space for 16, but we're only bringing 6. A little bit concerned about uh, getting this craft back down. We don't have any 2.5 meter heat shields unlocked yet. So what we'll probably have to do is leave it in orbit until we unlock those. And then maybe attach something to the docking node on the tip. And bring it in that way. Of course, we don't have enough life support to wait that long, so we'll have to somehow send a space plane up to rescue everyone off of it and just leave it in orbit for a while. We should be okay, we hope. This craft is full of just pilots and engineers and no scientists. All the scientists are out with the B team. <clears throat> the hope is that once this gets into orbit and starts completing some of its contracts, we will be able to uh, get another contract for carbon orbit. We have some pilots that have not been trained. And I want to get them up into orbit to get them a level 1 experience. And then we'll try to get a Minmus base contract and send a station out to Minmus to pretty much just stay there and get science and do missions and that kind of stuff. At least that is the plan. Being that we used up so much fuel performing the test for the liquid fuel booster 
We're having to launch a refueling mission up to our station. For that, we have this little craft. Which is pretty simple. It, however, does have a, a Mark III cockpit. Which we've picked up a, another contract to test that. 340k, once we complete that for a suborbital trajectory. It also has two of our new unskilled pilots on it, so we'll be knocking out that thing too. I want to have the pilots up to level 1 so that they'll have hold prograde before we send them off to Minmus. And let's just get this up into orbit and dock it with the station. Now that our base is refueled, it is time to send these two pilots home so they can be getting some downtime. And we can see if this actually works. Or if they die horribly. Even after that refueling, our base does not have enough of Delta V to do what I wanted to do, at least not with a significant margin of error. Apparently I've pretty much half-assed the math when I was building that. What can I say? I was tired. I, I didn't really think. So what we're going to do is launch uh, this, an unmanned refueling craft. The idea being, the uh, top tank will detach from this craft after it has docked to the station, and that'll give the station some more refueling capacity. And then the uh, top tank below the SAS module will also have uh, some fuel to finish topping off the station tanks. And that way we should definitely have enough Delta V to do whatever I want to do with the station. And we can send it off on its way. At the moon, we put our periapsis just a bit below the surface, or so we just impact the surface. Hoping to get us an ideal suicide burn, and that is what we try for. Have to find somewhere fairly flat to land for something this tall and unstable. We only have three landing gear on this, and it's not the heavy-duty ones, it's just the initial type of landing gear. But I think we might be able to make it. Looks like we are getting that done. And we're safely down. A little bit wobbly. And after a quick jaunt out for all the guys to plant flags, we are off back into orbit. I did have to lock the landing gear suspension so that everyone could get out and do things without it tipping over, but we did manage to pull that off. Now looking at how much Delta V we have, which is quite a lot, and our life support, we still have a fair amount of that. So what we're going to do is get this into an equatorial orbit of the moon, approximately. A little bit difficult to do without me knowing what I'm doing. But we're going to try that, and then we want to send it off to Minmus. I've decided that we're going to send the space to Minmus to land since we have that much fuel. Just to make sure that the pilots here, the ones that aren't trained, can get a little bit more experience before we send it off into the solar orbit. 
and do that last contract which will mean we'll have uh, several bases running around uh, doing things but we really really need to have more people that have the maneuver node hold thing I think only Jebediah can do that at the moment and a Jebediah is not someone we're going to be sending to other planets the maneuver node hold thing is of course very very good for things with less thrust to weight ratio and have a longer turn longer burns so a little bit of adjustment there and then it is a bit of a wait until we get the transfer window using the transfer window planner for this better than we did with the previous space because we're actually getting into a 50 kilometer orbit instead of like a 2 million meter one we have to wait I think about 11 days for our transfer window but it's only 200 ish 2 to 300 delta V it is actually 15 days until the transfer window from a moon to Minmus, so they're going to be waiting for a little while. While that happens, a number of things are going to be going on in the background. We have our Minmus base all ready to go. We have a contract for a orbit around Kerbin base and a base on the surface of Minmus. We also have a main cell test, which we'll use to launch that out. And uh, I think that's everything that's going to be uh, tested for that launch. However, the two pilots that we want to go there, Gene B and Sinmun, are fresh down from doing the Mark III refueler thing. And still have 27 days of downtime. Before their downtime is done, we have a whole lot of stuff coming up. A bunch of the mid-course correction burns for our Duna fleet is coming up. Almost all of them, everything but the dynamic Duna, is going to be adjusting their course. And we have the base race. We'll be exiting Kerbin's sphere influence and hopefully popping back inside rather quickly. And making it back. Importantly, we have the Kerbin to Dress launch window coming up. We don't have the technology yet to send a unmanned probe to Dress. It's two research technologies away, something like 500 science, so that is not going to happen anytime soon. And I am not really comfortable with sending out a manned mission to dress. We could probably do it, just not with very much science package. We couldn't do like a research lab and all that stuff. So we have an option. We can, potentially, install Kerbin Operating System and attempt to program a automated probe to go out to dress it wouldn't have any control past about well we could do the mid course correction berm manually but after that everything would have to be programmed the entry and capture orbit thing that burn would have to be programmed the landing burn would have to be programmed the takeoff burn would have to be programmed. The lots at the proper transfer time to get back to carbon would have to be programmed. And then from there, we should be able to make the mid-course correction burn once it gets back in range. But those things are going to be rather difficult to program. It could be an interesting challenge. I'm not sure if people want to watch that or not. If you do want to be to install current operating system and try that, let me know in the comments. If you don't want to see it, also let me know in the comments. A kind of a poll, let me know which you would prefer. I'm not sure if y'all are interested in that kind of stuff. 
it could be an interesting challenge. Or it could be a little bit tedious. But being that we have all this stuff happening, we are not going to continue this episode. If we do do the carbon to dress thing, it is going to take a little bit of preparation, and I don't want to waste lots of windows and time if we end up doing that. Let's see what we've managed to accomplish so far this episode. We have planted a flag on the moon for 37k. Build an outpost on the surface of the moon for 202k and a little bit of science. That science is starting to add up. Pretty soon we're going to be solely focusing on contracts for the small amounts of the science we're gaining. The Duna fleet has contracts for approximately 2.5 million Purple Bucks, which will be a lot, or get us a lot of the way towards upgrading our research facility. We're already at about 3.2 million as it is. The uh, test the MK3 cockpit, we did that one for 311,000. We have a launch satellite that can reach the inner planets. That contract completed, it was still undergoing testing. We tested the liquid fuel booster for quite a bit of money and one science. We built a new orbital station around Kerbin. That was the station that we just launched, I think. And that is all we have done this episode. Next episode, we'll be taking care of all these mid-course correction burns. At least most of them, probably. And hopefully... We'll be launching our Minmus base as well. If you want to be named, want to have a Kirby named after you, please let me know in the comments below. If you desire a specific profession that will require getting a middle initial, initial. If you don't care what profession it is, you don't need to specify and you'll just get a random one based on your name. Like if you like, subscribe if you're not. Leave a comment if you have anything to say. I do read all the comments. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.